Hey everyone, it is tea time with the diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, and let's get into it. This tea time is dedicated to Keefe D. Keefe D, um, real government name, Dwayne, I want to say Davis. He is currently behind bars. He's behind bars being accused of the unenlivened of Tupac Shakur, which happened almost three decades ago. And the reason why he's behind bars, he's behind bars because of his own mouth. They said life and death is in the power of the tongue. He was on the YouTube streets and he even wrote a book claiming he knew what happened. He was there when it happened. He laughed about it when it happened. And now at the tender age of 60 year old, when he should be chilling, home with his wife, his kids and whoever else eating, you know, whatever he likes to eat, he's behind bars. He's behind bars and they said he got some health conditions going on. And now he's pissy hot. Well, see, you know, they said everybody gets their day. Every dog, they said, has their day. You wanted to get on these YouTube streets. You want to laugh about somebody's son no longer being here. You wanted to tell about how you knew how somebody's son, their life was taken short by the hands of somebody else using a weapon. And now you in the courtroom crying. You want to talk about, oh, because he did it. That's why I did it. And this is not fair, judge. Well, no, nothing in life is ever really fair. And if you didn't know by looking in the mirror that you can't do what they do, well, then shame on you. I don't know who raised you, but you a big dummy. So now he went for his bail hearing because his court, um, his trial is scheduled to begin in November. And so he's really trying to have some sense of freedom and get out of jail before the trial, right? Um, he did gather up from whomever the bail money, but every time he go for the hearing, the judge hit the gavel was like, no, go back in the cell. But like I said, you thought it was all fun and games when you was on the YouTube channels talking about the unaliving of Tupac Secure and how you knew um, who did it. So let, let's get into this. Let's get into this story here. Hold on one second. This is him making his court appearance, asking the judge, can she speak to her? And the judge is like, yo, you got a lawyer, sir. Either you representing yourself or your lawyer needs to speak for you. She let him speak, but he still had to go back behind them bars. Hold on. Let's listen. Sorry about the commercial. Well, I always cue it up and then it goes back. Will it be August 20th? Yeah, yeah I'll dress you for it. Uh, I think we're done. I got something to say. You want to say it to Mr. Arnold? Or you can say it. You, you represent yourself. So ultimately, you represent yourself. You can talk it well. But Mr. 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 Uh, Greg Hayden had them pockets at his house for 15 years in his attic, doing all kind of TV interviews. The, the boxes should not be allowed in a uh, case. The, the boxes should not be allowed. The, the tainted evidence, everything. The man, he broke a, a he broke a, a, a proffer agreement, and he uh, broke the law. All kind of stuff. He sh the boxes should not be allowed. He's been in his house for fifteen years, and he's doing interviews, going in the boxes. Let me see here. Ooh, you can see it on any internet site that this man been going in the boxes for years. And he's a uh he's a group and to, uh, a judge, federal judge in LA did a 142 page uh uh thing about him. Look it up on the internet. So I think what the state said ultimately is that they don't think there's gonna be anything in those boxes that they're gonna use. They, they you just use something in the boxes. They just use something in the boxes. From 1996, and they know where they did it. Yeah, no, it's certainly, it, 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 certainly, we are. They're not only ugly on, on the outside, but they ugly on the inside. They, they, they crashed my family in this. They did my daughter first. They did my son. Then they just did my wife the last thing. The uh, what's the name? Told me about the David Westbrook. Told me about these dude. He said they're not only only ugly on the outside, but they ugly on the inside too. These two dudes right here. Um, at this point, there is nothing before me to exclude any sort of evidence. There's been no motion filed about the proffer. 
I, I don't know if the Shoreham fans on challenging that or not. Um, ultimately, that decision is up to him. So we'll see you guys back on that 30 day date. That was August 20th at 9 right, well, At that time, you. we need to know if we're going to go on the third. Right, thank you, Aaron. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, oh. Cloud. It's over. He mad. He's piping hot mad. And 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 the thing is though, you know, this is this is the life you you chose. And you talk about ugly on the inside and out. You don't think it was ugly that you did 99 interviews, uh, wrote a book about the unalignment of somebody else's child, brother, friend, cousin. The self-confessed gangster charged with Tupac's murder was seen in footage from the courtroom having to be calmed down by his lawyer. Furious self-confessed gangster Keefe D raged at prosecutors and a former um, Los Angeles detective during his intense bail um, bond hearing on Tuesday. Keefe D looked downcast as Judge Carly decided she would consider whether he could be freed after a 45-minute hearing in courtroom 12B at the Las Vegas Judicial Court. The one-time Compton crime boards, Keefe had hoped to be released from jail to raise cash by filming a reality sh um, show and discuss potential movie projects. His lawyer, Carl Arnold, argued that Keefe was legally allowed to make money from his reputation given he was not convicted for Pac's death. However, prosecutors argued that Keefe's bail money was supplied by a friend who had deceived the court and freeing him would be dangerous to the community. Last month, Carney, that's the judge, expressed concern about Keefe real name Dwayne Davis earning money from the case and denied Bell over uncertainty about the source of the Bell bond supplied by rapper entertain, rap entertainer Cash Rack 100 Jones. Prosecutors called out Jones and Keefe in court, stating that the pair had misled the judge over Jones' motor for handing out a 112,500 Bell bond. Keefe denied having um, struck any deal with Jones for TV projects and hit in the hearing with Jones, insisting that was not his business plan. But prosecutors referenced recorded jail. I don't care if it's a cell phone, a jail phone, your social media DM, it, it, it gets the people in trouble. You lied to the judge, but you was making the deals over a recorded jail phone. You have to be dumb, stupid, or both. When Keefe speaking to his wife, Paula, discuss how Cash Jones had a Jewish partner from Paragon offering a TV deal. The state plays Jones telling Keefe he has spoken to a television bigwig and that his priority is to get at least 10 episodes done before the defendant trial starts. Keefe D is just stupid. Getting heated, Keefe 61 stared at prosecutors declaring they are not only ugly on the outside, but they are ugly on the inside. Keefe launched his tirade about these two dudes right here, referring to Chief Deputy District Attorneys and Prosecutors Mark and um, Binu. Um, the the Tupac murder suffered also vented about evidence from its own confessions to police in Los Angeles being referenced in court papers over his trial. Keefe, who's always described the godfather Compton during a hearing, fired off against retired LAPD task force officer Greg Cady. Cady was central to Keefe's tape confession of being responsible for Tupac's 1996 unaliving, which originally protected him from prosecution in a proper deal. And that's what he was trying to talk to the judge about um, during this hearing. The two and a half hour tape, which the U.S. Sun has played several extracts from, um, the last, from in the last six months, has been submitted into evidence by prosecutors in the case. At Tuesday's hearing, um, I'm, I'm going to say um, D. Giacomo referenced a box with substantial evidence from LAPD's 2008 Biggie Small Game Task Pro being assessed for potential use as evidence in Keefe's prosecution. That revelation prompted, prompted Keefe to address Judge Carly directly about his feelings on the case and Katie, who has written um, a book and given interviews detailing how Keefe was the shot caller for the assassination. 
Keefe revelation prompted, um, that revelation prompted Keefe to address the judge. I called, I read that. Keefe ignoring um, Carly's request to address the court through his lawyer. Carly Arnold said, Greg Kading had them boxes. Um, Carly Arnold said, Greg Kading had them boxes in his house for 15 years in his attic doing all kind of TV interviews. That's what Keefe said. The boxes should not be allowed. It is tainted evidence. The man broke a proffer agreement. Standing Keefe did make allegations against Kading and he broke the law, all kinds of stuff. A federal judge in LA did a 142 page thing about it. Look it up on the internet. That's what he's telling the judge. He's saying, he's telling the judge, do your due diligence. The self-confessed drug dealer did act it out Katie packed, um, picking out files from boxes and accusing him of passing details on any internet site. The judge calmly explained to Keefe that it was uncertain which aspects of the Katie evidence would be used by the state that enraged the suspect dressed in blue CCDC overalls who raised his voice firing back. They just used something in those boxes from 1996. They know they did. They cried. Um, they um, crashed my family in this, ran to Keefe. They did my daughter first, did my son, and they just did my wife in the last papers. Those two dudes right there. Carney responded, all right. In other words, trying to tell him, calm down. At this point, there is nothing before me to exclude any sort of evidence. There's been no motion filed about proffer. I don't know if Mr. Arnold plans on challenging that or not. Thank you, Judge Keefe said before sitting down. The rant came at the, at the end of the 45-minute court session where the judge um, failed to render a decision. The judge said, there are a couple of things I need to look at. I will let you guys know, guys know in the next day or two. Keefe, who denies charges despite making multiple confessions for being the um, kill shot caller, faces life imprisonment if convicted of the murder of Tupac on September 7th, 1996. Keefe outburst comes just five days after prosecutors filed a bombshell 179-page court motion urging for bail denial, outlining new details in their evidence. The former crime boss reported remains caning for his legal problems in recent years despite giving multiple media interviews and writing a memoir about the key role in killing Tupac. In 2020, before Keefe was arrested and charged, Caden told the U.S. son, I cannot think of any case in American crime history where a confessing murderer is allowed to continue and go speak blatantly about his involvement in a crime. He said it is unprecedented. I have no vendetta against him, but he has spoken publicly now about his role in Tupac's murder. He has admitted he got the Glock um, handgun from Anderson. His confession, which has been corroborated, is more than enough to arrest him and resolve the case and end it from being an unsolved investigation. He is profiting from his infamy. Mm. He did do that. Since his summer 2023 20, arrest, prosecutors have pushed for Keefe to remain behind bars before his trial, suggesting he remains a danger to the community and alleged he discussed having a potential witness unalive. The state described Keefe as having a reputation as a brutal game leader, prior record, the nature of his offense, and the danger represented to the community as reason for issuing a detention order. The one-time drug kingpin of Compton even worked with LA officers to set up an undercover drug deal in a bid to implicate hip-hop mobile Diddy and the rappers unaliving, damning court filings alleged. The court motion presented testimony Keefe worked undercover with special LAPD task force initially set up to investigate the murder of Biggie Smalls at the volunteer information about his role in Pac's fatal shooting. His um, role as an informant was so insignificant that he flew to New York in an attempt to um, implicate others in a Tupac um, unaliving. During a recorded interview with officers, David had alleged that Diddy real name Sean Coles offered him a million dollars to unalive Tupac. Diddy has always denied any involvement in the unaliving. The prosecutors wrote that Keefe became an active confidential informant for the task force, alleging he flew with officers to New York to co co corroborate the conspiracy to commit Tupac's unaliving in 2009. It explains that detectives believe they had jurisdiction to investigate a Nevada homicide because defendant Keefe 
asserted that the conspiracy to commit the murder began in California between defendant Eric Zip Martin and Sean Combs. Diddy has spent three decades refuting links to Tupac's unaliving, appears to be further implicated in the court papers when prosecutors summarized one of Keithy's other interviews in state. Ooh. Sean Cone reaches out to defendant wondering if South Side Crips were responsible for Shakir's death by asking, is that us? Defendant Beeman with pride answers yes. Ooh, that is the judge over the case. She got a job ahead of her, okay? And, you know, I didn't read this middle part here because it just goes through things, um, why it has taken so long for justice. And it talks about, you know, the different things that happened, how they came to arrest um, Keefe D and how, you know, it's been an unsolved case for almost three decades, 28 years. Keefe D has gotten bigger in size um, since being in um, jail. I think he is extremely stressed and frustrated and he wants to get out. I, I, you know, and this is not me being psychic or anything. I can't particularly call this particular one, but this is what my my speculation is. If they can lock this man up for life for the unaliving of Tupac, they're definitely going to do it. His attorney's got a job ahead of them. He got a mouth on him, and he's talking about somebody being on the ugly outside and in the inside. Well, going around for decades trying to profit off someone's death is being ugly on the inside and the outside. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, guys. And I'll see you on the next video.